Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet. And we are back here in the Lobotomy Corporation, where I apparently decided not to take a break this week. Who knew? But anyway, this time we are on day 48. We're almost there, right at the end. But now we have to deal with these three. So, what is the objective today? For our core suppression, you might ask? That is simple. We have to either reach Meltdown Quipquoth level 10, or suppress the Red Mist. And frankly, that comes down to what would be easier? Suppressing the Red Mist, or suppressing the Claw, and four fixers, and whatever else. So, frankly, I think we'll likely be suppressing the Red Mist today. But I've also been told that the Red Mist likely won't appear immediately. So, let's see how long it actually takes for the Red Mist to appear, shall we? In we go! Ooh! Interesting. You start with two things, do you? Also, you're there rather than there. So, all I can say is, thank you for your convenience to me, because you being there makes it perfect for me now to just take a nice good screenshot of you right here at the beginning. So, thank you so much, G said. You are always the gentleman, weren't you? There's no Gobara yet, like we were told, but we can just start moving everyone down below so that we can see the Tiberath. Thing, and you, you're a corpse now, get out my way. And here, more screenshots for the thumbnail. Thank you very much, Tibereth. You are most invaluable, I must say. Well, either way, I guess now we just... We're just expecting things. I mean, look at this. This is like one of the most messed up things it could possibly be. Oh, and we do actually have it over on this side now, rather than it just being a black corridor. Interesting. That's actually interesting to me, because that was always just a black corridor, rather than that, which, unlike this, which actually involved everything before. And we can actually see the pictures of everyone in here, too. There's Malkuth, there's Yisod, Hod, Netzak, or whatever the hell they were called originally. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess now I just watch all this. We try to don't, to don't trust anyone. Okay, come on. Really, the moment I start reading them, you all decide to disappear. Do not fear the sinking. Accept it. Let us sink with Carmen. No. No, I won't accept it. We tried to don't trust anyone, but we shamelessly woke up our comrades who fell asleep. Huh. Yeah... And by, if that, by that you mean you you basically pulled out their brain, put that brain into a robot, and the only regret is waiting for you tomorrow. A well-deserved punishment for us. Well, no. I have no regrets. If you have regrets, you can't ma make progress, and this is all about progress. So, yeah. Well, I guess for now we just gotta work. And the question is, what do we work? work on? And the answer is easy. We work on whatever we can use to level ourselves up. Well, you guys are certainly taking a lot more damage than normal. I know we've got the double, the amplified red damage and all, but still, guys, you guys may want to get over there. There we go. All is good. Everything's safe. Everyone go home. We're still waiting for Red Mist to appear. And do whatever Red Mist does. Hmm. Interesting. That's very interesting. Um, as the- as Red Mist has now spawned, ev the... She said thing has just stopped. Interesting. He's, she spawns on tier 5, which is good to know. Well, I guess it's now kill time to kill Red Mist. 
Oh, and I didn't kill five people last time. Whoopsie. Whoa, what happened to the music then? That was certainly a change and a half. Well, all I can say is that it's time for everyone to get into their good old famous lift. And that Yaka comes and uses this, wherever she is. Now, some of you might be wondering why I consider suppressing Red Mist the easier of the two options. And that is simply because, well, I've got a little thing called cheese. Hey, cheese! Chili cheese! Would you like to go in and be immune to everything that she does to you in this phase? Ha 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 ha! As I move everyone over there, just in case, ready for when Big Bird is unhappy. Huh. She does it to a halfway point this time. So she only flips around when it's the halfway point now, does she? Interesting. Interesting. That's a happy Big Bird. How's our monkey down here? Monkey, monkey's doing fine. All right, Chili. Well, now I guess you can finish off this phase of Red Mist. So where does she appear? Down there. Okay. I assume that's another Quip Quoth? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Come on, Elisa. Off you go. You know, I must say, how I like how you're kind of... Hey, don't move when I'm talking about you. I... Get into view, will you, woman? I must say, I like... Can you stop moving so I can talk about you? Thank you. I like how you are actually kind of fuzzy and fady too. It actually is kind of nice and gimmicky for you. Especially as that's how everyone else is. I just wasn't know what I was expecting with you. Um, is Big Bird happy now and can I keep go back to killing her? Big Bird's happy now. Okay! Chili. Cheese. Cheesy chili. Time for you to go back to killing. Okay, you're not as big a cheese as I thought you were, because you do need to take a break in order to heal. But you're still pretty much immune to the white damage, which alone is a che enough cheese. It's interesting to see how you're weak to black damage. Maybe I should just get Cody in here or something. In fact, isn't that what I did in the end? I just used Cody? Well, yeah, they only have two phases. This she only has two phases in this run. The fact she likes to go up and down, the fact she likes to, you know, use the left and right, and then, yeah. So you know what, Cody, Michaela, both of you, come in and suppress. Are they both taking damage, or is only one of them? No, they're both taking damage, okay. Okay, now you're using this stuff. Meaning, I need who's got fucking ranged weaponry and would be good at surviving. Alright, now, if everything is right, yeah, you're still glitched. Because this, you're... I just love this bug about this, cat. About everything, about... Like, this is one of the weirdest bugs about you. Gobara. And the fact it still isn't fixed makes me think it's not a bug. The fact you just seem to become tower defense. Oh, she's in the middle there now. That's an interesting place to be. Well, I suppose that considering after this phase, um, She's gonna go haywire on us. We should all make sure we're ready. The fact she's in the center of the entire facility is annoying. But then again, this is also my first attempt. Properly. I had a minor hiccup, which I haven't which I'm probably not gonna show anyone. But yeah. Uh Gabar uh Gabara, could you please get on the other side of the da of the damn room? Please, Gabara. Gabara. Thank you. 
Now pretend you're anything you threatening. Okay, you no longer need to pretend you're threatening. I'm actually we're actually threatened. So as per the norm, Narbon can still only survive one of those hits. But if I do this again, for whatever unfortunate reason, reasoning, you just go haywire on us, I suppose, probably. Then we're just going to... If you're going to do that, please at least have the manners to do it in the opposite direction to us. Right, Gubara is almost dead. For phase three, at least. Because it only split. Because we only get the two. The th Did they nerf Gabara without me noticing? And this is just a standard fight now. Did they make it sh so that she only does it two, two times instead of three, or did they nerf it specifically for this? For this. <laughs> All right, Narbong. We need her right at the edge, ready for you to be able to run. And in fact, let's just try and swap direct. Swap which side you're on, because I think it'll be easier if you try and kill her from up there, because that's instant between passage between the two, and you won't need to rush over with the rest of everyone else. This is a literal case of the normal method of swarm tactics for phase four, because that's all that's needed. And in you go now, and murder. Yes, and now run the fuck away as we watch Gubara. You had to do it in the fucking corner, didn't you? I wanted to take the screenshot of you do it in this mode, but no, you have to be right in the fucking corner, don't you? Oh, fuck. Everyone move. She attacked fast. I thought she didn't attack that fast. Well, at least I got another chance at my screenshot now. Right, so where is the fixer in question? What is it? It's there and it's red. Okay, so off you go, Mika Cody and Michaela. As I then realize I didn't move everyone else. So... You guys come down here. You guys run all over there. You guys run all over there. You two over there. And you lot up there. And with that, we have no more dead, right? No one's dead. The answer is correct. No one is dead. Meaning everyone can return back home. Hmm. This is what we like to see. Right. We're about to enter the Red Mist phase, meaning it's time to execute all the clerks. Because we don't need clerks anymore. That's all the clerks in this department dead. That's a clerk. Those are clerks. Only clerks we might need is here in the healing department. More than likely don't need them from the bullet department. And by executing all these clerks, we basically guarantee we can't let Big Bird or anything else escape. So, who wants to work on something? We're just gonna work on a random little thing, just like we normally do. So, give me this overload. What's overloading? You're overloading, you're not a big deal. You're overloading, you're a bit of a big deal. And you're overloading, who really isn't a big deal. 
Here's your, what's your ego gift? Right, so we've got Red Mist here now. I like the music. So, I didn't do this last time because I completely forgot about it. So, let's read everything. We broke everything with her warmth in her, in our hands. Tell me, what great purpose did we, did we have in those actions? Don't have hope for anything. Don't have hope for anything. Our employees who died hopelessly, at least. That doesn't make that much sense. Also, what the fuck is this? Why did you escape? There. That's what I expect to see. A dead censored. One nice dead censored. Right. Then. If everyone else would like to just come on on across then. It's time to gather everyone up. Right then, it's time for you two to go you two to kill her. Of course you'd go up and kill everyone in the healing department. Why do you kill everyone in the healing department? We need the healing department. The healing department keeps us healed, Gubara. Did I just see another line of hope? Come on, bring up the new lines. I know there's likely there likely aren't any, but come on, you can at least tell me. If exists if the existence itself is an ailment to us, there's only one cure for it. Just close your eyes and never open them again. There is a lot of weird thing messages in this game. That's for sure. Where are you going to end up? You end up right in the middle over there. Interesting choice to be. Well, you two are probably going to have to wait before you can join the rest of the party. Or the raid. But we've got a nice specialized Narbong now. Oh wait, no, those... No wait, that we're in this phase. No. We're still in the you two need to come kill phase. My apologies. Got a bit ahead of myself then. We're only on phase two, not three. We kinda want her on you know, both side in a position over here so that we can like evenly split the the damage taken. Because or not. Top of the screen up there. Interesting location to be. Uh, frankly, annoying location to be, because that's actually quite a hard one to work with. With Narbonk. With the ranged bit, with the ranged concept. Alright, you both ready? Well, Michaela, get in there. And now time for Cody 2. And now you can both join everyone else. Oh, fuck. Okay, guys, we got a Cody to suppress now. Yay, that's always fun. And Cody's fine. Cool. God damn it, Cody, you coward. You need to learn to stop running away. Right, I need to make sure you're on the extreme of one side, because I don't trust anything to do with you. Other side, Gubara. That's not far enough, Gubara. It's a good thing I've pimped out Co Narbong for when you do eventually get to one side, isn't it? This is the second most annoying place you could have been. For my tactic involving you within the in this phase. Oh yeah, that does nothing to but Narbong now. Screw you, Gubara. So where are you gonna end up? You're right in the middle. Come on, Red Mist. Uh 
Now, I'm gonna move Cody, and I want you to come over to here. Over here. Like, this far edge. Move it. Move it, lady. You know, you love to be in places which are just awkward for me to be able to take a screenshot of you transforming into stage four, don't you? Like, I really want a picture of your stage four. Ready for the thumbnail. Move it! I can't kill you if you're standing right there! You know what? Fine. Fuck it all. Cody, run the hell away right now while I get a good picture of New Gubara. That didn't take long. I'm sorry! Last time you took at least 10 seconds to transform! Fuck you! You know, this wouldn't be anywhere near as bad if it wasn't 30 fucking degrees! Fuck off! You know, I really don't mind how long this is taking. Mostly because I'm doing it myself. I mean, I'm two hours in and had two attempts at Gubara. Each attempt approximately then t thus taking an hour. I'm fine with that. Mostly because I'm using the time to level people up. And frankly, people need a nice level up. Where the fuck's the bird? There's the bird. So yeah. I'm leveling people up, and praying that I will get a good shot of Gubara. Doing Gubari things. Alright, fighting a noon for the first time in this run. Let's see what we get. Hey look, you're white. And... Where's black? Oh, of course, fucking black is next to censored. Well, all of you move over there. Right, is everyone ready? Everyone good? You're out? Okay, I'm not dealing with this. Le fuck off! Idiot rabbits killing themselves all the time. Oh god. Amplified black damage. You know what? Fuck off. And Cody's insane. Of course he is. I'm not doing this. No. C fuck off. All right, now, Bong, it's now all up to you. We need you to get us to phase four and pray that she goes to a reasonable location. Oh, and that she doesn't BS and just start running instantly. Yeah, that's always annoying. She actually lands directly at the bottom. Well, you know what? If that's the case, everyone go directly to the top. Jesus Christ, I feel sorry for Narbong. He's gonna need a pale shield immediately. This is gonna be awkward. It's one. This is one of those moments where I pray and hope that she decides, you know what, this time I wanna use Gold Rush. When I go ultimate form. I wanna use Gold Rush, cause then I can give my enemy a chance to win. Alright, Narbong, are you ready? You need to start running immediately. Run, Narbong, run. Thank you for pausing right there, as well as using that. That is like the ultimate position I want to see you in. And where are you going to land? You are going to land right there! Oh god, that's actually kind of perfect. Presuming that Narbong can survive. Narbong, you might want to go back. And just in case, red shield. Oh! 
Oh god, Narbong, you're not gonna be there for the final confrontation, but you're gonna be there in spirit, because you're the one that got us here. Is everyone ready? Murder the bitch! You think you'll kill all of us? Well, I'm sorry to inform you, but you will not. We will kill you. Go! And Bye-bye! <laughs> Zero dead. Perfect score. Day 48. Perfection. Flawless. I am unbeaten. Screw you all! <laughs> Ha! Ah, what the hell? <laughs> Whoa! Exhilarating! Mostly because it wasn't complete BS like the rest of the Luans normally tend to be! Ha <laughs> ha! So nice. So very nice. Right. Let us progress forward and see what the story has to say. Jesus Christ, that was easy. When RNG de decides to agree with me, that is. New abnormality. No fuck off or Snow White. I kind of don't have Snow White's stuff anymore. I also know we're about to go against the Arbiter, meaning I need to know what they like, and Snow White likes regression, I know that. So I think, despite the fact it's a new one, I think that rules out the window at this point, so sorry, out the window. <laughs> oh my god, really? The final abnormality of the facility. The final abnormality that we could ever possibly get. A can of, a can of soda. Or I could have the army of black, or I can have borrowing up heaven. No, I think I'm gonna go with the meme. Go with the meme's sake and just say, let's have the very last abnormality of the game be a Zalan. Just because, why the hell not? <laughs> now you! What the hell happened to you? That's a very different way of looking. Welcome. You won't believe how long I've been painstakingly waiting for you. Ah, it was so boring. You know, the world is not interesting anymore to those who realized the greater good. Think about the world you were in. Every day is singularity. Everything changes in the blink of an eye. Wings control the world, and now people can't live without control. People just stay silent, eh, silent even though they know how ethically wrong the wings are. Those who are not controlled die as a loner and a failure. That's how we are now. Who was I in the past? Who I am now? Who should I be in the future? These questions were stopped being ax asked long ago. All people have left is to die slowly. Nothing is boring as watching a certain fall. So, we found it. The light that resides in everyone. Unfortunately, most people didn't find their light in their lifetime. Humanity is bound to be unhappy as they just chase illusion without realizing the truth. People started hiding their lights in the deepest part of their heart. Carmen thought that she could draw such lights. Yes, we could see the truth. Abnormalities are not illusions. They're our truer form, drawn from the lights in our hearts. Abnormalities are the true human of this age. They are pure, they are our pure form that is shed from our empty skins. 
They feared and tried to contain the abnormalities. Do not blame their ignorance. It was only natural that they feared being naked. At least you and I know that. Carmen will be forbidden will be our forbidden apple for a new humanity. Call my name. I am Adam, the first of hu the new humanity. I will wait for the fruits to come to life after I seed this vast forest. The forbidden apple that will e enlighten us all with the knowledge that this is our branded in our heart but forgotten. A single bite will open their eyes and grant them vision. They will be free from sins of forgetting what they are, and ashamed of their skins. We will, if we draw everyone's well with the bucket, then their ego won't need to be locked anymore. Just imagine everything is a, that is oppressed burst out in every form possible. Doesn't that give you the chills? We always asked how a person should live. Nobody could answer, but I found it. I will show you. Join me. Do you know? Do you want to know how I could be so cruel? People live with their own anxiety. It's a natural cost for facing an unknown. But I did not accept that anxiety and fear. I devoured them to survive to this world. That is the first and final sin I committed. I don't regret it. It was for survival. Aren't you the same? I knew, seeing your face when you ripped through my brain. You might say it was inevitable. You need to face the fear that you have forgotten now. If you want to stop the cycle. If you want to stop the cycle. The fear, I facing the fear, cutting the cycle. Do you think you can see things clearly when you couldn't see them all along? You are afraid. If you think it is a sin to deprive them of the act of facing fear, listen well. If we can conduct thousands of good, one bad is acceptable. Shedding everyone from their empty skin, can't you see how this is the greatest good of all? People need someone like us. Think about the wave of redemption that will follow. It is in, th in everybody's instinct to pursue freedom. Remember the reason why I gladly let you pass? I did because I wanted to fly with your own strength. I, wa I wanted to fly with your own strength despite being left in this harsh world. If we talked more sincerely in the past, perhaps it would have res been resulted in a better circumstance. However, we already left our past behind. We cannot go back. We live in endless conflicts and regrets from the birth to death. We grow by facing them and walk to the future. We grow by facing them and walk to the future. The eye embracing the past Creating the future. You refuse to join me and move to an unpredictable future. Your days will be filled with marvels and wonders if you join me. You are not even sure if you are on the right path because it is painful to live by day by day. This scared secret can't be wasted like this. I don't have a, have a time anymore. If you are not ready, I will be going first. Are you? So you don't th so you don't want to stop me but block me? Hmm, interesting. That's an interesting concept. You don't want to stand by me want me to stand by your side at the you don't want me to stand by your side at the end of this story. I am not among those. Those who would face the end together with you. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Alright, well, we did it. Took significantly less time than last week. In fact, I did this all in one sitting. 
it was significantly easier! Ha 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 ha! You know, I still can't help but look and laugh at the fact we got this. This! To end our bloody everything. This is the last abnormality of the facility. This thing! This thing! Bloody hell! It's fucking epic. Well, what can I say? This has been an interesting turn of events. We now... We first one was pursuing forward. The first two were pursuing forward. The second one, the third one, is we're stopping one of ourselves. Which I find interesting. So, needless to say, Attack, you're probably going to tell us all in the comments what this next one actually means. So, um, everyone keep an eye out for her, for his comment, its comment, whatever. So, everyone, I would like to thank you all for joining me for another week of the Lobotomy Corporation. We have two days left. Just two days! And I forgot to mention, last week was the anniversary for the fact I've been doing this for a year. So, anyway. Thank you once again for joining me today. I have been your host, the Parafox Archangel. The English flawless gentleman of the internet. And I hope to see you again next time. But, until then, it's time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally... Good night.